The auto auction turned out to be a total flop. This particular vehicle I was interested in, it would kind of work for me because it was a van, but other than that, it had low miles, that was great. 2002 Honda Odyssey. But I took my mechanic with me to the auction and he confirmed my suspicions. This car has a bad motor. Whoever bought it really got screwed because that car sold for $4,650. You should be able to buy this car on uh, Craigslist for something in the range of $3,000 if it runs well. But since it didn't run well, the actual value of the vehicle is about $165. <laughs> the cost to crush it. A new engine would be ridiculous. Uh, so it's too bad. This van I looked at, but the minute we started it, it billowed smoke. Uh, and it eventually sold for $4,075. That was just ridiculous. I was also concerned about the passenger windows because you get a lot of heat loss with passenger windows. I really wanted a cargo van. Unfortunately, the cargo vans were going for a lot of money. This particular vehicle sold for over $6,000, and it probably was an okay deal. It passed emissions, it didn't billow smoke, no check lights were on, it went into gear and out of gear easily. Needed some paint, but that was okay. I probably would have painted it anyway. Uh, but unfortunately, just too much money. It's next competitor also a 2007 Chevy uh, Express cargo van uh, that wouldn't pass emissions had check engine light and check oil light sold for three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars wasn't a good deal at all I was really after the Chevrolet 2002 Chevy uh, Express unfortunately somebody really wanted it they put in a pre-bid on it uh, an automatic pre-bid and I kept bidding and bidding and bidding and wasn't able to outbid the guy. Finally, the car sold for $4,600, which was more than I felt the vehicle was worth. Surprisingly, somebody paid $5,700 for this Chevy Astrovan. Just an incredible price for a 2001 Astrovan with 119,000 miles. That was just incredible. Uh, somebody just way overbid. I bid on this a little red Astro, 92 Chevy Astro. It sold for 925. I could tell that if I wanted it, I was gonna have to bid a lot more money for it. So uh, I eventually dropped out. It was in pretty rough shape. The same guy who bid $5,700 for the Chevy Astro van was bidding on this red one. And I could tell that I was, it was just gonna go for it. way, way, way too much money. This Chevrolet 3500 Express cargo van is the one that really surprised me because uh, it's a 3500, so that's great. It's a, uh, that's a big truck. But the problem with the van is that it needs a new transmission that was disclosed. The engine checked out, we checked the engine, ran fine. But needing a new transmission and somebody paid $4,605 for it. Uh, and who knows what else could be wrong with it. So I decided that I had to pass on that one. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything at this auto auction, uh, although I tried really hard. And you know, the thing is when people are paying just crazy prices for things, they're bidding on cars like there were people bidding big money on that Honda Odyssey who hadn't ever inspected it. And the way we knew that is that there was a date for inspection and that hadn't come yet. And they still had a really high bid on it. When that happens, you've just got to use your head and drop out and, and let somebody else take the loss. And unfortunately, there were a couple of vehicles that people are going to take big losses on. Remember, the things to remember at an auto auction are never, never, never pre-bid. There are exceptions. You can pre-bid if you're very low in the bidding process early in the bidding process. You're sure that you're not going to win that bid, but you can bid uh, just to test to make sure that your bidding number is working correctly. And I had an auction in which my bidding number wasn't working correctly. If you pre-bid for the vehicle, all you're doing is pushing the price up. Wait until the last 15 minutes of the auction and then put your bid in. Uh, at least maybe you won't have a competitor, for example. If you pre have pre-bid over several days in advance, you're surely pushing the price up. So it doesn't help you at all to pre-bid. All you're doing is helping the auction company sell that vehicle 
for what happened in this case, too much money, too much money too many times. The other thing to remember is check your values before you go to the auction. I had Kelly Blue booked every single vehicle that I wanted to buy before I went to the auction so I could be sure that I knew what the top, top value was. Now I use the trade-in value. Kelly Blue Book says, sell my car. That's the value I want to know. What will the dealer give me if I buy the vehicle? And that's what the vehicle is worth the day I buy it. Now, if I want to see what the high price is, if I want the highest, highest price, then after I've gotten that valuation, I'm going to push the button that says sell to a third party. That gives me a high value and a low value, and I want to buy that vehicle somewhere within those ranges. Okay. Always inspect the vehicles. Always, always go there, see if they go into drive, check for damage, check out the frame, uh, look for rust. Uh, look for check engine lights. Let the darn thing run for a while. So there, those simple things will really help you if you decide to buy at an auction. Uh, there still are no guarantees and you can always end up with a lemon if you're not careful. Well, this is Tim Painter. I really appreciate you guys following. This is quite a saga for me to be moving from where I want to be to living on the streets in a van. It's a long process, not easy to do. But I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it. And I really appreciate all of you coming along. If you like what you see, please press the like button. Be sure to subscribe. And why not share with a friend who maybe is thinking about buying a car at an auto auction and they're not sure what to do. Uh, I have a whole series, I think two other videos, in which I talk about what to do at an auto auction and what not to do. Uh, they're very simple rules. And if you follow them, you might find a pretty good deal. But you can also avoid having a huge headache. So, okay, well, we'll see you soon, and thank you for, for watching my video. Bye. Oh, forgot to say, be sure to comment. We love your comments. I'm learning a lot. So, okay, take care. Bye.